Hey friend, Corey Scott here, and I want to talk to you about the fact that police lives matter. That's right. Police lives matter. You know, the Uvalde, Texas, the tragic, tragic, tragic shooting of all of those dear innocent kids, as well as several teachers. Um, you know, there's so much that can be said about it, but today my focus is on these lies that were told, these lies that were told by law enforcement. And, and what I wanna say is this, you know, to much of the world, much of the world, people were absolutely shocked because the story started one way and then it just continued to evolve, evolve in ways that just made no sense whatsoever involved in ways that were completely contradictory. And what it showed us was there, there came a point, you know, because listen, they're law enforcement, they're under stress. Certain people hold them out to be heroes. Certain people hold them in higher esteem than just normal individuals in society. Um, so you give them some slack, you give them the benefit of the doubt, but they're comes a point in time in which you just have to say, you know what, these folks are lying to us. These folks are not telling us the truth. And as I said, many people were shocked about this. Many people could not believe it. I mean, to just openly and blatantly lie about something so important, it blew people's minds. But I'm gonna tell you whose minds it did not blow. The people like myself that work day in and day out in the trenches of the courtrooms of America, because we know, we read the reports, just like right now, you know, this whole controversy was because the reports didn't make sense. You know, when did they engage the shooter? Whether or not a door was left over, open, whether or not a door was, was locked or secured, just so many different things. You know, how they dealt with the parents and the family members that were concerned. So many things, so many inconsistencies. But the people that deal with these folks on a daily basis, we know. And what we know is this. Cops lie all the time about all kinds of important things. And when I say that police lies matters, it, it, they do. They're not some little white innocent lie. They matter because when they lie, when they write up a fictitious report, people have serious charges brought against them. People lose their liberty. People go to jail, people go to prison. People are separated from their families, all based upon lies. And it's a shame because it's so unnecessary and it's so unfortunate that the very people that we count on to serve and protect us are people that will lie on us and put a fake fictitious case on us. People that we cannot count on to tell the truth about how these precious babies lost their lives, what they did and didn't do. Now, if you remember at the very beginning they actually painted themselves as heroes, talking about how they confronted the police, excuse me, they confronted the gunmen and all these heroic things that they did. And then slowly but surely, the truth came seeping out. And we learned how long those babies were in there, how long they waited. One teacher said he just, it felt like an eternity, he said. He just kept lying there and trying to play dead and wondering when someone would come. And then he said that there was a certain point where he just decided, you know what, nobody's coming. Thank God they finally did. But the point is this, police lies matter and we don't have anyone to blame but ourselves because we have a Supreme Court that has said that police are allowed to lie. 
They are allowed to deceive you. They are allowed to, to say certain things that they know full well. These things aren't true in order to get you to make statements and to give up your rights. And so what do we expect when we have a society that encourages police lives? What do we expect? This is what we expect. We expect a situation to where they lie every day about everything. They lie so much in court, there's even a phrase for it. It's called test lying Not testifying, test lying Taking the stand, raising their right hands, and telling big, fat lies. And it's very unfortunate, but this is one of the most important lessons of Uvalde. And I hate that it had to take such tragic circumstances for this to happen. Police lies matter. I hope that this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, if I can help you in any way, by all means, call me, text me, email me, reach out to me, Corey Scott here in Indianapolis, Indiana. I would love to hear from you. Um, it's a sad fact that police lives matter, folks. And until the next time we talk, if you have to be guilty of anything, be guilty of greatness. Take great care.